Here in Civil 3D 2019, we now have the new shared view command. So what the shared view command allows us to do is to take this model right here and send it out to someone that can open it in a web browser. And they don't have to have all the drawings and imagery and XREFs and things of that nature to go with it. So let's show you what I'm talking about. So if I look here in the Collaborate tab of my ribbon, I can see the share view, the actual share view command. So if I pick that, I can go up here and I can just select new shared view. So I want to show someone this view or this model. I want them to have the ability to open that up. So I hit new shared view. I'm just going to call it new commercial plan. All right. I can, I've got a couple options here for views to share. I can send them this current view only, which is the model or I can send them the model and all of the layout tabs. So if you had a check set of prints that you wanted to send somebody, you could send them this entire set of plans just from this shared view option. We can create 2D views only. Uh, it will also create a 3D view and we can tell it that we want to share object properties. So if we select like a civil 3D surface, it'll give us the object properties of that surface. So I can just hit share and it will come up and tell me that it's going to process this in a background and then a notification will display when it's done processing. All right. So I can hit OK on that and I can see down here in the low, lower right hand corner of my screen that it's publishing this shared view. Now, a couple things about the shared views. This is, uh, this is a couple I've already sent out to some folks. So you can see here that this expires in 30 days, all right? So that's the limit of time that we'll have for the for any shared view. Now, there is an option. If you select here on the ellipsis in the corner of the shared view, you can actually extend that time frame. So if it gets down to two days and you still want some people to comment or make revisions or something like that, you can extend this time and it will extend for 30 days. While that's processing, we can go ahead and just select one of these that I've already uh, submitted. I can hit View in Browser and it will open in the Autodesk Viewer. Now, what you see here, when you get in the Autodesk Viewer, we can zoom in, I, I saved the model, so it's given everything that was in my Model tab. So we have a little bit of control, we've got our Views button, so if we had a 3D view, uh, I told it we just wanted 2D views, but it would, it would give us a 3D view of this model. It would also give us our Layout tabs if we wanted to, that, that were our plan sheets. Um, under layers, we've got layer control. We can turn layers on and off. Um, I could go down here to my my uh, my feature lines. Go to Ctopo feature. I'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see the green lines there. If I hit Ctopo feature, I can turn those on and off. All right. So I have layer control. And I also have control of the properties. When I say control of the properties, I mean I can get properties off an entity. So if I pick my contours for my surface and I go to the properties box, it'll give me the properties or some of the properties of my Civil 3D surface. All right, so I can make a comment. Um, I can select comments here. And if there's been any comments made, then it will show me the, the responses and who's made the comments, so on and so forth. So you can see here I made a comment and sent uh, this particular view to Eric Chappelle and said please check the earthwork on this site and he responded back and said we're a little bit on the cut side but I don't think it will be a problem so it's a great way to collaborate back and forth with everybody all the stakeholders on the on the job now if I want to share this shared view I can go up in the upper right hand corner here and I can hit share and it creates a link I can copy that and I can email that to anybody that's collaborating on the team for this project. And by the way, the people on the team, again, they're opening this view in the and using the Autodesk Viewer. So they're just using their internet browser to access this information. So back here in Civil 3D, if we refresh our shared view dialog, you can see that we have our new commercial plan shared view that I published. And I can actually uh, view it in the browser just like we did a second ago with the other the other shared view I had created. We can copy a link, we can extend it out, and we can delete it. If we 
look back inside of our web browser, there's, a, there's one more thing I'd like to talk about, and that's the ability to be able to create a markup. So I've got some markup tools. I can use the pencil. I can just draw a shape. I can draw a little bit of line work with it. I can draw an arrow, some text. I can build a revision cloud. So I can actually just draw a revision cloud right here, and I can save that, and it will post it back to everyone that has a copy of this shared view so they'll be able to see it. So I can see here in the comment area now it's got my revision cloud. All right, so I could go back to Civil 3D and I could refresh and if I select my shared view, I can see that I've got my revision cloud or the revision that needs to be made is right here for me to see and look at. So the new shared view command inside of Civil 3D allows you to collaborate again, more effectively and more efficiently with all the stakeholders on a project.